So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It is another rainy day here in Tennessee. It's been raining for the past week. We're supposed to have five more days of rain before it stops. I may have to build a boat if it doesn't stop. But that's okay because we have a lot to do down here in the shop and there's a lot of projects to work on today. And I think I may have a new package coming as well for some accessories to put on the motor. That's supposed to come also. So you guys hang in there. We've got a lot to get done. So the first thing we're gonna work on is insulating this wall. I've got a ton of spray foam on there and I've got a few cans left, so I might as well use it. So I did a video back, I think in August, actually two videos showing this spray foam. This is closed cell spray foam, you get it in a can and it does a pretty good job. And this is not sponsored by this company or nothing like that. But there's a few things that you do need the actual spray foam right there, it's made by Vagabond. If you're interested in it, I got mine on Amazon. There's a link down below. I think for about 240 uh, board feet of this spray was about $280. That includes the gun and all the uh, safety equipment as well. Not a bad value, not too bad. Something else I'm going to need is my foam cleaner. That way if I want to take a break, I can clean the gun out and reuse it. This is very important right here. It comes with the kit. And most importantly, you need a spray gun. You're looking at two different colors, and here's the reason behind that. The first time I bought this stuff, it was that white yellowish color right there, and the last batch that I got is actually purple. So I'm not sure why there's different colors, it's the same stuff. I got about two inches on the wall, I think for closed cell. Actually, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not even gonna say because people will batter me down in the comments for being wrong. But the R value, you can look up online for closed cell. I got about three or four cans left out of that kit, and instead of waiting to use it for something else, I think I'm just gonna layer it on top of what we already have. This stuff actually does okay if you layer it, as long as the first layer has about 24 hours to dry. I've not had any problems so far. Keyword is so far. And when I showed this in my videos back in August, people were asking if it gets in behind the two by fours, and it does, but you have to go back over it and kind of fill in the gaps, but it, it does a good job. The number one reason for doing this is to close off all this metal right here on the other side of this wall. That way there's no condensation issues when this wood stove gets pretty hot because that could be a problem. I may go back and put some more insulation on top of this. I'm not sure. That may be overkill. For a wood shop, this may be enough. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this may be enough. Before we get started, let's warm up the shop and get this wood stove going. Got some nice hickory to put in the stove today. Get her chimney warmed up here. We'll put a few logs in her. Looks like we got a helper down in the shop today. Mr. Cabbage is with us. Hello, Cabbage. You got my chair. You don't care, do you?
So what I'm trying to do here is cover up all the existing white or yellow with the purple stuff. That way I know I get two layers on here. And up here in this top corner looks like the last I need to cover. I need to get behind that two by four anyways right there. I missed that the first time around. It's working out pretty good though. I'm down to my last can. So let's finish this up then get out of the shop for a couple of hours and let it air out. Looks pretty good. But man, this stuff stinks. <laughs>